Welcome everyone to another episode. Well, I was sitting there this morning and uh you know my, my hair just looks great, doesn't it? I was sitting there this morning, I was talking, having coffee with my wife, who I don't know, who I love very dearly, but we have different opinions on different things. And uh let me just say, folks, I don't rant about the news because I don't care. I rant because I do. What I mean by that is pretty simple. There are people in bread lines, food lines that can't pay their bills. So every fucking business that exists, exists and is essential to the people that it allows them to pay their bills. We don't need the government's help. What we need to do is get the boot out of our backs so that we can go back to work. Now, uh, there are a lot of people, and I tried to explain this this, this morning. Me, I'll be fine. Why? Because I always am. I'm just that type of person. It's affected my business, of course. But fuck the government. I will do whatever it is I have to do to make it. And I have. Now, and I don't give two shits what Tate Reeves says or anybody else says. <clears throat> or we'll end up in federal court. It's that simple. The bottom line is, is this. But forget about me for a second. There are people out there that are fucking suffering. They're in food lines. They're in bread lines. They're, I mean, this is awful. People can't pay their bills. Their houses are going to get foreclosed on. Why? Because they won't get off these people, off these industries, to let them open up so that these people can go to work. Oh, and they'll go, well, just get you a, a job in an industry that's essential. Fuck you. And, and I'll say that one more time. Fuck you. Every job is essential. And any politician that tells you or shuts down our country or an industry should forego their salary until that industry is back up and running. Why? They should feel the burn that it causes the people that's in that damn industry. They should feel it. It's ridiculous. And now they're they're thinking about, you know, creepy Joe and his and his fucking crackhead son. Thinking about shutting down again. Yeah. That'll be great. Yeah, do that. Because it worked so well the first time. What about SARS? You know? Not SARS COVID two like COVID nineteen. But SARS, where 60 million people were infected, you didn't hear shit about it. Why? Because Obama couldn't shut his economy down. He was coming out of a recession. So there was no way he could shut it down. So they ignored it. And the news media played along. You didn't hear shit about SARS. But 60 million people were infected. And a lot of people died. I want to know what the cancer rate of death is this year. It was 600,000 in 2019. Over 600,000. What about now? Yeah, probably. What if it's 1.2 million? Does that mean you got an increase in deaths of cancer because people can't go get their screenings because the government is such dipshits that they lock the country down and they terrify every fucking body? I'm not scared. I get COVID. If I get COVID-19 and I die, fuck it. I'm just dead. I'd rather live free. Live free or die. The slogan of New Hampshire should be the slogan of the fucking world. So, yeah, I rant about stupid Fox, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, ABC. All of them are dipshits. Facebook, Zuckerberg, and Dorsey should be doing a perp walk in handcuffs for interfering with an election. Both of them. 
And if those machines, those, those Dominion machines turned out, it turns out that they were used to try to overthrow this president. If that turns out to be true, some people need to go to prison. A lot of people need to go to prison. So, yeah, when I rant, it's for the small guys, for the little guys, for the person that can't pay their bills. It's for the person that's just struggling, trying to figure out. And I know people that struggle now, that have a job that's essential, and they still struggle. Can you imagine the people that their industry was decimated? Decimated. I can't. But that's who I speak out for. It's not big tech. It's not big government. It's not the big corporations that's made billions. You hear me? Fucking billions. Walmart, Amazon, all of them are just cleaning up on this pandemic. Why? Because they're essential. They're fucking essential, man. Well, fuck you, Tate Reeves, and every other government official that thinks that there are companies that are essential and non-essential. I didn't agree with this shutdown from the beginning. They should have followed Sweden's model. And these dipshits officials in Mississippi, yeah, none of you, none of you I'll vote for again. And I'm going to speak out against. With that, sorry for the language. And uh, until the next show. Bye-bye.